Hello there, in this video we are looking at the concept of final laws and calculation with examples. By the end of this video you will understand uh, what's going to happen to three main variables such as airflow, static pressure and horsepower whenever we change the airflow or the speed of the fan. The fan laws are a group of equations for determining the effect of a change in the speed, the diameter of the fan and the density of air in the system. They are very useful for determining the impact of uh, extrapolating from a non-fan performance to a desired performance. The fan laws allow that the speed and airflow vary directly to any change to RPM and CFM. Therefore, if we increase the airflow or the speed of the fan to a 10% we are gonna get a 10% increase in the airflow and RPM. There are three fan laws that cover uh, various system properties in order to determine the performance of the fan at the new speed. Uh, we will be using the first the fan law which can allow us to change the CFM by increasing the fan speed. So as we increase the speed of the fan to a 10% the airflow also increases to a 10%. Fan law 1 uh, CFM new uh, equals uh, RPM new divided by RPM old multiplied by CFM old uh, equals uh, CFM new. The second fan law is used to increase the static pressure as the speed of the fan changes as a significant impact on the pressure. So that change is uh, calculated according to the square of the speed ratio. Fan law 2 uh, static pressure new equals uh, RPM new divided by RPM old squared multiplied by static pressure old equals uh, static pressure new. The third fan law tells us uh, that the R power increases as the airflow changes and it's calculated according to the cube of the speed ratio horsepower new equals uh, rpm new divided by rpm old and cube it multiply by horsepower old equals uh, break horsepower new so the best way to understand uh, what's happening when we change the speed of the fan is uh, looking at some examples Let's say we have a fan, it's uh, operating at uh, 1000 RPM delivering a 3000 CFM of air at the static pressure of uh, 0.5 inch of uh, water column and has a brake horsepower of uh, 0.5. If we speed the fan up 10% uh, to 1100 RPM, uh, what is the performance of the fan at the new speed? Uh, first. Uh, CFM new uh, equals uh, 1100 uh, RPM new uh, divided by 1000 RPM old uh, multiplied by 3000 CFM old uh, equals uh, 3300 CFM new. Uh, second static version new equals uh, 1100 RPM new divided by 1000 rpm old uh, square multiplied by 0.5 uh, static pressure old that gives us uh, 0.605 of static pressure new uh, third the uh, horsepower new uh, equals uh, 1100 uh, rpm new divided by 1000 rpm old uh, Q multiplied by 0.5 horsepower old uh, 
that gives us a new brick R power of uh, 0.6655 the final condition of the new fan uh, as you can see a 10% increase uh, in the fan speed as a result in a 10% increase in the airflow new a 21% increase in the static pressure new and a 33% increase in the horsepower no so we need to use a fan that uh, must be capable of delivering a 3300 cfm with a rpm of uh, 1100 at uh, static pressure of 0.605 inch of uh, water column and needs a brake horsepower of uh, 0.665 and that's it for today i appreciate you for watching this video and please if you like this video uh, like share and subscribe it thank you very much